Today on Review This Thing, we're gonna compare the Everly Stock X2 Pack and the Everly Stock Team Elk Pack. This is Adrian. And this is Robbie with Review This Thing. I'm planning an elk hunt in the next couple of months and I'm forever looking for that perfect pack. Everly Stock sent over these two for us to try them out and see what we think. We haven't actually done any testing yet, but we just wanted to compare the X2 Pack to the Team Elk Pack and then hopefully Robbie can decide which one he likes better. Then I'm asking you to comment below and let me know which one you would use for a mostly day hunting elk hunting trip. Or if you have either of these packs, comment below and let us know what you think about them. And after I've used them, we're gonna do a complete review of each pack. So click that notification bell and the subscribe button so you don't miss those. First, let's take a look at the size of the packs. The Team Elk Pack is about 27 inches tall by about 12 inches wide. It weighs about six and a half pounds, and it has a total packing volume with the lid and the pack itself of about 42 liters. The X2 is a little bit more compact, so it's about 24 inches tall by about 12, 13 inches wide. It weighs about five and a half pounds, so it's about a pound lighter, and it has a total packing volume of about 40 liters. So really not much difference in the capacity. Yeah. Now both of these packs have a ton of pockets. The Team Elk Pack, has two separate pockets on the lid so you can get to things that are really important like your snacks. An integrated long side pocket on both sides that looks perfect for a tripod, shooting stick, or a spotting scope. And the bottom of those on each side are stretch pockets that are good for a water bottle or maybe something like a packable raincoat. On the front is a vertical stretch pocket. And then there's a large main compartment with a drawstring lid. But on this newest version, you can also get into it from the front so it's easier to get to the stuff on the bottom. You don't have to unstrap the whole lid. Inside the main pocket, there's also some sidewall pockets to keep the smaller stuff easier to get to and a bladder sleeve with a bladder hook and a slot on each side for the tube. And don't forget, there's a padded rifle scabbard that is also part of the design. And the bottom part tucks away if you don't need it. So technically you could even use that as an extra pocket. And like I said, the X2 also has lots of pockets. It also has a floating lid like the Team Elk lid, but this one only has one pocket instead of two. The two side pockets on the X2 are wing pockets, so they're gonna actually fold out and aren't integrated into the design. Those pockets are very similar to the design of the one on the Team Elk. Great for spotting scopes, tripods, things like that. Because these wing pockets are not integrated, when they fold out, they also have a stretch pocket at the bottom on the inside of each one. And like the Team Elk, both of those have stretch pockets on either side for, again, the water bottle, raincoat, whatever it is you want to put there. There is a, another stretch pocket on the front, and then you have your main compartment. That, like the Team Elk, has a drawstring at the top, and you can get to it from a zippered front pocket. The X2 also has a bladder sleeve, a bladder hanger, and two ports, one on each side for the two. The X2 does not have a rifle scabbard as part of the design, but they do say that it is compatible with the Eberly Stock Molly scabbard, but that is extra. Speaking of Molly, the X2 has Molly straps everywhere. There are some right here on the front of the lid, the outside and inside of the wing pockets, the side of the main compartment, the inside and outside of the bottom flap, and on the belt. The Team Elk doesn't have quite as much molly webbing as the X2, but it does have some towards the bottom and on the hip belts. And all of this molly webbing, I think especially on the hip belts, is great for some of the Eberly Stock accessory packs. And it's also compatible with any molly pack or accessory that you find anywhere out there, which is pretty cool. It makes it easy to customize either pack how you like. As far as the material, the Team Elk pack <laughs> is made of NT7 fabric that is highly water resistant, super soft, and also really quiet. The X2 is also really quiet. It is a DWR treated micro suede, so it should have some water repellency as well. Both packs have Intex 2 aluminum frames that are meant to be lightweight, but have the load bearing capacity to pack out your harvest. On the X2 pack, that frame is actually separated from the harness part that you wear. So that allows for a lot of airflow, keeping you cooler while you're hiking around. The frame is part of the harness system on the Team Elk pack, but the pack itself sits away from the frame. 
On that note, both of these are designed to be able to carry out your harvest after you make the kill. As a matter of fact, their load test video on YouTube shows the Team Elk carrying over 830 pounds before failure, and the X2 actually made it to over 1,400 pounds. The X2 is a little bit different design. You actually pack the meat between the wings and on top of the pack, and then with these buckles from the sides and on the top, you kind of cinch it into the pack. I am interested to see how this works if your pack is also full. So if you have the pack full and you're packing the meat on it, how that is to carry out. If you've done that with the X2 pack, then comment below and let us know how that worked out for you. Please comment, we'd like to know. <laughs> In addition to packing out the harvest, I've also seen people pack their like climbing sticks between those wings for saddle hunting and things like that. So if you do that, then let us know that too. The Team Elk seems a little better suited for carrying meat to me because the pack separates from the frame, creating a space right up against the frame, and there's a load shelf that keeps it from falling out the bottom. I like the idea of having a load closer to the frame and closer to my body because it seems like I'd be able to balance better that way. Plus, depending on what kind of hunting you're doing, you could also use that space to carry a small lock-on. And you could probably, it seems like, have stuff still in your pack away from the meat. Where this, I just feel like the, the load in the pack may be a little strange for strapping everything down. Again, maybe not, let us know. The other important thing about carrying is the harness system. The Team Elk seems to have a bit more padding on the back, straps, and hip belt. The X2 has padding in all of these spots as well, but it doesn't seem to be as thick or as cushiony, if that's a word. I also think I'm gonna like the air channels on this hip belt and the extra lumbar padding on the Team Elk pack. So there you have our comparison of the Everly Stock X2 pack and the Everly Stock Team Elk pack. They both have their strong points and I'm looking forward to using them this fall. I'm leaning towards the Team Elk pack for my elk hunting trip and probably using the X2 during deer season. Like we said, comment below and let us know which one you like better or which one you would pick. And as we also said, if you have this, please comment and let us know how you like using them. If you found this video helpful, then hit that like button. And so you don't miss our follow-up reviews, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. Also, if you decide you wanna buy one of these, then please click our link below. That'll just help us out by we earn a small commission at no cost to you. And as always, thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching. Hey, thanks for watching our Everly Stock X2 Teat Melt Comparison video. While you're here, like it, comment, share it with your friends, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Make sure you check out our website, reviewthisthingtv.com. Check out our Amazon store, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Threads, and Twitter.